Are you ready for the exciting stuff? And I know the earlier lesson was HTML and CSS. Now we get to get into the JavaScript because we've got our basic structure set up. The first thing that I usually like to do is select my elements and add them in as objects within my JavaScript, which makes it a whole lot easier for me to select them and make use of them. So I'm using Query Selector. I use Query Selector quite a bit. We can also use different ones. So we've got a button, which is a element there. So we can use, if we have ID, we can get element by ID. We can also get elements by tag name, get elements by name, get elements by class name. But really at the end of the day, the query selector is the easiest one to use because this one is going to be consistent with the way that we select CSS. So using const, setting up another one. So we've got our player one area. So this is where the gameplay for player one is. And again, query selector, a quick and easy way. It's going to give us a quick and easy way to access that element information. And what query selector all will do is query selector all gives you the option to select more than one element. So typically if you're using class or different tags and you've got more than one on the page, whereas I've got a really simple application, so I don't have a whole lot happening within my HTML. So now that we've selected all the elements into usable format in our JavaScript, the next step is to make our button clickable. So now we have a nice button here, but it doesn't do anything when we click it. So we can use JavaScript in order to make it clickable using that button object that we just created. We're adding an event listener, and then we need to specify what type of event we're listening for. So we're gonna listen for a click. You have an option now to create either a function. So link it to a function that gets invoked when the event listener gets triggered, or we can do an anonymous function, which is the case that I'm gonna do here, where we don't need a name, and we're just gonna have the function sitting within the event listener our console log out the word works always a good idea to check along the way and this is one of the key functionalities of our game so we want to make sure it works at this point so go ahead and click the button and you should see some type of output happening within your console try it out for yourself set up all of your document elements into as javascript objects and you'll be ready to move on to the next step and the next step is going to be where we're going to look at JavaScript math random, which is going to give us the ability to provide a random output for the gameplay. So that's still to come.